Grenada to benefit from multi-million Canadian dollar project to build capacity after a natural disaster. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Thursday, July 11th, I am Rikisha St. Louis. Grenada will benefit from a 20 million Canadian dollar resilience facility with the World Bank that will build capacity of Caribbean countries to build back better after a natural disaster. Mr. Pierre Benoit Laramie, Senior Director of the Caribbean Regional Development Program at the High Commission of Canada, says this arrangement will ensure that experts are deployed to assist countries in the aftermath of a disaster. It is part of a 100 million Canadian dollar support for reconstruction and climate resilience efforts in the Caribbean over the next five years, which was pledged in 2017. He was speaking at the closing ceremony of a project to retrofit and upgrade emergency shelters for the elderly and persons with disabilities. It was funded under the Canada Caribbean Disaster Risk Management Fund. Through this facility, the World Bank will deploy local and international experts as requested to assist countries should future disaster occur during the recovery and reconstruction phase. It will also support government's effort to strengthen public finance system to ensure that appropriate policies, tools are in place before disaster risk so that procedure can be triggered in the event of a natural disaster or emergency. Mr. Laramy says this is in addition to a 15 million Canadian dollar contribution to the UNDP to support the enabling gender responsive disaster recovery climate and environmental resilience in the Caribbean. This project built on the work of other partners and helped countries strengthen in a gender responsive manner their natural disaster recovery me mechanisms, risk reduction and climate change mitigation action and adaptation responses. I'm sure that, uh, that uh, P.S. Hutchinson would be glad to hear more about that. Finally, Canada is providing a $8.2 million in targeted support to the CDMA. This project will strengthen the response to disaster to improve regional emergency communication capacity, training of regional response team, and funding for a local early recovery project in impacted country. Of the 134 approved shelters in Grenada, 14 have so far been upgraded with either water storage facilities, ramps or toilet facilities. Four Grenadians were honored by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at an investiture ceremony on Thursday. Mrs. Theresa Marischal was awarded member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire for the exemplary service to farming and agriculture. Mrs. Lorraine Maureen received the member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire for her dedicated service to the community. Mr. Oscar Andal was awarded the British Empire Medal for dedicated service to sports and Mr. James Stafford from the Sister Isle of Kariku received the British Empire Medal for his dedicated service to culture. Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade commended the awardees on their service and contribution to economic development. You have gone the extra mile and your work has not gone unnoticed. Investiture ceremonies are not only intensely meaningful to the awardees, their family and friends, but also for our society as a whole. It is a formal expression of what we value as a people and as a nation, and is an important reminder of the way in which the life, work, commitment and service of outstanding men and women contribute to the building and well-being of our nation. She charged them to wear their badges with honor so that others will model their examples and lifestyles. I share the pride and joy of your friends and family on the honor being bestowed on you today. I encourage you to wear your insignia and to use the letters that signify the award for what they are badges of honor that inspire those who follow in your footsteps.
The investiture ceremony was attended by Ministers Norland Cox and Kate Lewis, as well as family members and friends of the awardees. This is the National Report. We'll have more news when we return. Every summer, the Spice Island of Grenada is transformed into the Caribbean's biggest party, Spice Man. Coming down to Grenada. Come experience the warmth of our people, trending theme fats, the revelry, the pageantry, and why we are the Jab Nation. The kids, our future shines on August 3rd in the Children's Carnival Frolic and the Junior Calypso Show. Seven beauties take set to stage as the Queen of Carnival is crowned on majestic Thursday, August 8th. The prestigious Soka and Groovy Monarchs are crowned on Carnival Friday night, August 9th. Enjoy the pulsating rhythms of the still pan at the Junior and the Senior panorama on carnival saturday august 10th and real steel august 17th the march gra crowns the calypso monarch on carnival sunday august 11th two days of frolicking in the caribbean sun kicks off on monday morning august 12th with the biggest, biggest juve biggest. in the world followed by pageant and monday night mass the creativity and splendor of our mass parades on the road carnival tuesday august 13th join us in the jab nation of grenada august 8 to 12 for spice mass 2019 many events one carnival welcome back Grenada's Minister with Responsibility for Disaster Management has given government's firm commitment to ensure measures are implemented and infrastructure protected to safeguard their well-being in the event of a disaster. Senator Winston Garway was at the time addressing the closing ceremony of a project to retrofit and upgrade emergency shelters for the elderly and persons with disabilities. He says the project is saying to the rest of the country that government cares. Senator Galway says their commitment to protect citizens and country was well demonstrated after Hurricane Ivan when Grenada became one of the first to join the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility. While government seeks to fulfill its obligations, he says citizens must also play their part. When we talk about building back better, we have to encourage our contractors to follow the building code and to ensure that the buildings are built to specification. We have to ensure that we ain't cutting the shortcuts anymore. They have to stand up. Because it's one thing to, I mean, your home is by far your single largest investment. And to put up your home and one hurricane Blow it down. Think how serious that would be for any family and most of your, your government. So we have to encourage them to do their part as well. Following the recognition that people in the Caribbean living with disabilities and the elderly were not adequately catered for, Grenada decided to ensure that shelters were made more comfortable. Acting Disaster Coordinator Sylvan McIntyre says they are in the right direction. St. Andrew, St. David, St. George, and St. John all have shelters with improved accessibility. Work has also been done on the Dover Government School in Kariku, and St. Mark and St. Patrick have benefited from emergency shelters receiving emergency water storage tanks. But what it has also done is inform the process of development thereafter and the immediate change in retrofitting and redesigning facilities in Grenada. And so, we will now ensure as champions of the cause that when new facilities are being built, that it becomes enshrined in our legislation that persons with physical, mental, or other challenges or differently able people, that they are comfortably accommodated and that the issues are accounted for and is highlighted in a legal McIntyre also disclosed that they are now in possession of a vehicle designed to transport and accommodate people living with disabilities. Finally, the Ministry of Youth Development prepares for the staging of the National Youth Parliament on Friday as it has successfully completed its series of parish sittings. On Wednesday, the final parish session was held in St. Patrick at the MacDonald College. It highlighted the proposals of government for the implementation of the National Health Insurance Program. 
The participants debated the resolution. Be it resolved that the Youth Parliament of the Parish of St. Patrick urges the Government of Grenada to immediately establish the National Health Insurance Program in accordance with the current proposals. I support it 100%. National Health Insurance is dear to my heart, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you must have love for people to support such great initiative. Mr. Speaker, I am excited. I am optimistic about the path that our country is on at this time. I, I am also filled with sympathy for the members of the other side because it seems they have been far removed from the plight of the Grenadian people. You see, Mr. Speaker, it seems as they have just been awakened from a slumber. And, and as they have awakened, they are helter-skelter in search for solutions to the mountain of piling issues. And, and Mr. Speaker, after they came from this, this wild goose chase, they have presented to us the national health insurance. What if our families were placed in that situation? What if the families of Grenada were in that situation where they had to choose amongst themselves who would get medical care or life? Mr. Speaker, no family, no family, whether their race or despite their social status, should ever have to make a decision like that. And if this is the state that the opposition is waiting for us to be in, we would ensure that it does not happen. At the end of the deliberations and debates, the resolution was passed. Minister with Responsibility for Youth Development, Honorable Kate Lewis, was high in praise of the youth parliamentarians. She gave government's commitment to forums that would give a voice to the youth on issues of national significance. We are very proud from the Ministry of Youth. As we are continue our national, we move on to our national youth parliament on Friday, we are preparing our youth parliamentarians who take up leadership roles. And this is our government's commitment in giving them the opportunity in which they can elaborate and, uh, and debate issues of national importance. Parliamentary representative for St. Patrick East, Honorable Anthony Bolson, equated the quality of debates and research among the youth in the mock session to that of parliament with real politicians. Without a doubt, the equality of debate that took place here today could equal or rival any debate that has taken place at our House of Parliament. Friday's resolution for the National Parliament sitting will focus on the Electronics Crimes Act. That story just ended the National Report for today, Thursday, July 11th. Let's recap the top story. Grenada to benefit from multi-million Canadian dollar project to build capacity after a natural disaster. On behalf of everyone here at the Government Information Service who made this newscast possible, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.